Welcome back to my channel. I'm Joe with Smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue. Did you guys know that pigs had wings? Well, on today's video, I'm going to be smoking some delicious pig wings. Stay tuned. All right, let's get our knives ready for today's cook. I've got my Dal Strong knife roll right here and I think I'm gonna use my fillet knife. And I'm also gonna use my chef's knife for this cook. All right, let's get started on these pig wings. But before I do, I wanna show you where these pig wings are located on the pig. So here's my model right here. So this is the rear leg right here. This is your ham. These pig wings are located right here on this bottom shank portion of the ham. Now you do have to go after it, that's why it's not as popular as other cuts of pork, but you can definitely find these at Porter Road. In fact, I'm going to leave a link inside the description box, you guys can click on that and get yourself a nice discount. So let's get to it. Alright, we're just going to focus on this one pig wing right here. As you can see, we have quite a bit of silver skin and a little bit of fat, so I'm going to be trimming this off. Now we also have a bone in this pig wing. Now it is wider right here on the top and smaller on the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna French this bone a little bit to kind of get a handle, okay? Because wings do have a handle, so I'm gonna French this down a little bit just so we can grab a hold of this pig wing. But for now, I'm just gonna get my fillet knife and go right under the silver skin and take that completely off. Real simple process. See that? Look at that beautiful meat right there. Looks like we also have a tendon right here, which I'm gonna be taking off. All right, so this silver skin comes off pretty easy. Take some of that fat off. Look at that, looking mighty fine already. So we got some tendons right here as well. I will be taking those off. In fact, I might just take this whole piece off right here. And we got one more tendon right here on this side. So this is a little bit of work, nothing too crazy. Just clean them off a little bit. Just like that. A little bit more fat right here. All right, so now let's French this bone a little bit. So what you gotta do is just sacrifice some of this meat and take it off the bone. All right, and there we have it. Nice little cleaned up pig wing. I'm gonna clean up these other ones, and I'll bring you guys right back. All right, so I've got the pig wings completely trimmed up, and I did French them so you can see the bone back here, or our handle for the pig wings. So to start with, I'm gonna rub them down with some of this Beer Hall mustard from Pia Seasoning. This is a Bavarian ale infused mustard. So I'm just gonna add some to each pig wing. This mustard is fantastic. So just rub that in there. It was pretty easy to trim up these pig wings, okay, to take the tendons out and the majority of that silver skin and then also to French the bones down a little bit as you can see right there. Just rub that mustard in really well. Ooh, this smells delicious already. All right, so now we're gonna hit it with some of the South Texas Red Rub from Uncle Steve Shake. This stuff is amazing right out of the bottle. So I cannot wait to taste these pig wings with this delicious rub. Look at that color. 
Got some red pepper flake in there as well. Ooh, smells delicious. I gotta tell you, this rub smells pretty savage right out of the bottle. All right, got them seasoned up. I've got my Yoda Y 640 pellet smoker running at 275 degrees. We'll see you guys outside. All right, as I mentioned earlier, I do have my Yoder Y640 pellet smoker running at 275 degrees, and I'm using Jealous Devil pellets as always. So let's toss in our wings. All right, so these pig wings are going on the top shelf. Just gonna spread them out evenly. Look at that beautiful color from the rub. Looks fantastic. And here's our last one. All right, we'll check in about an hour and see where we're at. Stay tuned. All right, so the total cook time has been one hour and 15 minutes. Let's take a look at our pig wings and see how we're doing. Beautiful looking color. Now the surface is drying up a bit, but I don't want to spritz it. And I'm sitting at 177 degrees now these pig wings are pretty lean, okay? So about 170, that's perfect. That bark is definitely set. So what I'm doing next is I'm just gonna grab a piece of foil here, pick up one of the pig wings. Now since this is a very lean piece of meat, I'm gonna throw a couple of pieces of butter in there. Probably one on the bottom and one on the top if it'll stay just like that. And wrap it up nice and tight. Place it back on my smoker. Let's do one more for you guys. Small pat of butter, pig wing, and a pat of butter on the top and just wrap it up. Close the lid. We'll wait for them to get nice and tender. Stay tuned. All right, so the total cook time has been two hours and 20 minutes. Let's take a look at our pig wings. All right, so I'm just gonna unwrap one of these and see what it looks like. Get an internal temperature as well. Oh, look at that, baby. Look at that pullback. Oh yes. I can tell that these are ready. They look extremely tender. Oh yeah, 207 degrees. Look at all that nice butter on there. So I'm using some of this Suckle Busters Honey Barbecue Glaze. That's where we're gonna dip our pig wings in. Let's just pick it up. Oh yes, toss it in the Suckle Busters barbecue sauce. Look at that right there. That is money. All right, toss them back on the smoker. Let me get these other ones done. I'll bring you guys right back. All right, so I've got the pig wings all glazed up in that sauce. Just gonna slide that shelf back in, give it about 10 minutes to set the sauce. We'll see you guys inside. All right, so the pig wings are ready and the total cook time was right at two and a half hours. And I gotta tell you, these smell and look absolutely delicious. Look at this beautiful pig wing. Let's give it a shot. All right, let's give the pig wings a try. Check this baby out right there. Here we go. Mmm. Wow. All right, so number one, this honey barbecue glaze from Suckle Busters is fantastic, so full of flavor, and that South Texas Red Rub from Uncle Steve's Shake, it pairs extremely well with that nice, sweet glaze from Suckle Busters. This is really good. Mmm, super tender. All right, so my overall thoughts on these pig wings from Porter Road is that they are so full of flavor, really nice and tender, and I highly recommend that you give them a shot. I gotta tell you, if you're having a party, maybe watching a football game with your buddies, order three of each for each one of your guests and they will be filled. There is a lot of meat on each one of these bones.
I hope you guys enjoyed this pig wing video. If this is your first time to my channel, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Until next time, Joe with Smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue. See ya. Ah, ah.